What is going on, everybody? Send me back again with another YouTube video. Today, I thought it would be a good idea, not just today, but for the rest of the channel. Um, like I said before, I want to kind of not switch over to swing trading, but also practice and try to swing trade. So I thought it would be a good idea to actually implement swing trading. And while I'm doing that, to document it live on my channel. Well, not live, but well, kind of live, but uh, document my progress in, on my channel as well, right? So you guys can see exactly what the strategy I'm using is, how it's working, my progress, all that jazz, right? Because, you know, I feel like this is a lot better than just giving you guys a strategy and then like back testing that strategy a couple of videos later and then being like, okay, that's it. I feel like it would be much, a lot, a lot better to actually like progress and go through the stages of trading with a strategy with you guys. So if you guys want to trade the strategy or even if you guys don't trade the strategy, right? If you were just trading some random strategy out there that you made or copied from someone else, you guys can see that this is how a professional day trader reacts to, you know, changes in the market, right? When he's winning, when he's losing, when he's in drawdown, when he's, you know, managing a bunch of positions, all these things, right? So I'm going to share my screen and let's get into the positions that I took today, right? And just to let you guys know, I'm trading this off a very, very small account. Um, I'm using 0.01 lot, right? A mini lot uh, is for every single position. So yeah, the reason I'm doing that is just to keep in consistency. Um, and that ends up being roughly 1% of the account per 1% risk per trade anyways, with how small the account is. But yeah, I'm doing that and I'm going to slowly scale up. So that'll be another thing you guys will see me slowly scale up the account as well as time goes on. Now, here's the thing, guys. This is going to be a very long series. Do not expect the series to be done within three weeks or something. Um, You know, this is about taking a strategy. This is the goal with this account, right? Uh, this is the goal with this series. I want to take the strategy. I want to test it on live data with you guys. I want to share my spreadsheet. I want to do all this stuff with you guys, right? Share my data, share my analysis. I want to show you guys the progress. I want to then, you know, scale up this account and then eventually get a funded account with this and then trade funded with this strategy for like a month to show you guys the complete progress from, you know, day one of trading a strategy to, or finding a strategy, developing a strategy to actually getting funded and getting a payout. That's the goal with this strategy. And so, you know, I didn't come up with the series up until today. Actually, I didn't come up with the series until 30 seconds ago. It just popped in my head, right? As I clicked the record button on this YouTube channel, but I have already showcased the strategy on a previous video on the YouTube channel, right? It's a couple of videos back, and I've also already um, back tested the strategy. I think a little bit. I haven't really back tested it in very much detail, but I definitely have back tested. And so, yeah, I just want to show you guys some of the trades I'm in and some of the trades that I took today. Um, let's go to Euro USD, and there's another trade in ZD CAD. Very right, cool. So, and you know what? I didn't miss a couple of trades as well. So I'll log those as well for you guys. Um, yeah, you know what? Let me just show you guys these trades for now. But yeah, so let's go with your USD because that was a winning trade that I had today. Cool. So let me, let me explain why I got into this trade, right? So by the way, guys, I just started live trading this on a live account today. As in like today, 5 a.m. Oh no, not today, 5 a.m. As in yesterday, because the market opened on Sunday. So literally Sunday, well, yesterday was the first day I started trading this live. So what happened, right? We had price close below the Williams alligator, uh, Williams alligator, right? Once prices close below this Williams alligator, right? We're looking for, we're now in fair value territory, right? We know that prices are retraced, okay? And prices are retraced and off for us to actually consider taking a position. Now, how do we know what position we're taking? If we're taking a buy or we're taking a sell, that's depending upon the 200 email line. Is price above the 200 email line or below? Or price is above, so we're looking for buys. So our long-term buys is buys, bullish, right? We're looking for buys only. And price has closed below the 200 email line, meaning that price has extended and retraced. And now that it's retraced, right? That means it went higher and, went, and now it's at a lower phase, right? So now we want to buy when it's low and sell when it's high, right? So knowing that, all I'm looking for now is the STC. The STC combination of stochastic and uh, MACD, right? So I want it to be on the, for buys, I want it to be in oversold territory. And for sales, I want it to be in overbought territory, right? So right now we're looking for buys. So I want it to be also territory. That's when it's below this point, uh, this 25 level, right? So is it 20? Yeah, the 25 level. So it was red, red, red. All I'm waiting for is a cross up on the STC. Where do we get this? Right over here. Now, at this point in time, I didn't take the trade guys, right? I'll explain to you why. Um, But uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I took, so this is where you would have gotten in for a buy. Where's your stop loss? And the ATR, right? The ATR is 1.5 times, Uh, I mean, the sorry, your stop loss is placed 1.5 times the ATR and your take profit is 1.5 risk reward ratio, right? You move your stop loss to break even at about one hour. Now, here's the thing. I didn't think about this entire series up until 30 seconds ago, but I did think about taking live trades um, yesterday. So when this happened, what I did instead is that I just waited for the market to open. And then on Sunday, 
And then I was like, okay, cool. Mark it open Sunday. Let me take uh, any of the positions that I can take, right? Now, here's the thing, guys. When market opened, right, price wasn't at the entry point. So I'm not going to get in the trade at a worse price point, right, guys? There's no point in doing that. But what I did think to myself is that I'll set a limit order. So if price sees it back here, right, back at the entry point I wanted at, then I'll get tagged in because price hadn't reached one hour yet, right? At one hour, I move my stop loss to break even. So since price wasn't at that point, I would have still been in the trade, even if one back didn't draw down for me. So because of that, I said, okay, you know what? If price, I'm going to set a limit order, price comes back here, I'm getting in. So guess what I did? Exactly that. And guess what? Uh, throughout the night, right? I woke up and in the nighttime, um, price tagged me in. And then guess what? We shot up and hit take profit today, right? So in total, this trade would have been took across uh, like three days, give or take, four days, sorry, almost five days actually. Wow. So um, about four, uh, about five days, right? Four and a half to be exact. But, you know, uh, I got it closed within <laughs> a day simply because of the fact that, you know, I got in late, but I still got a good entry. So that's the first trade I took. Um, That's the winning trade. All right, so let me put this over here. Cool. So now I'm in this position as well. This is odd USD. This is sells. And again, your USD and odd USD guys, they're supposed to be correlated, of course, but I don't know why this happened. They're supposed to be correlated, of course, but you know, whatever my ad says, I'm going to take that, right? So if all your USD is on buys, or all USD is telling me sells, right guys? And as you can see, these are trades that I haven't took. They are just placed for back testing purposes, but yeah. So for a sell, right? What ends up happening is, is that all you're looking for is you're looking for price to be below the 200 main line. You're looking for price to close above the Williams alligator. And then guess what? Price closes above the Williams alligator right over here, right? And then stochastic to be overbought right over here. And then we get a flow to go from overbought to a red signal, right? For buys, we're looking for it to go from oversold and then get a green signal, right? For uh, sales, we're looking for overbought and then a red signal. So you get that and the price closes below the 200 main line. Stop loss at 1.5 times ATR. This one, um, I'm in, in a little bit of drawdown, but essentially just break even, guys. Um, we have this trade as well. This is GU. Oh, no, GJ. We're in buys. Again, a little bit of profit. Technically, just break even for me, at least. I would consider that to be break even. Um, this is a GU trade. I have moved my stop loss to break even on this trade, so we're risk-free on this trade. Um, we're up about one hour. And yeah, this is looking good, much less say. Uh, this is USDJPY. Um, looking to be in drawdown now, which kind of makes sense considering the fact that Euro is pushing up. right? So obviously, a USD pair would go down. Uh, unfortunately, I got a worse entry in this. Um, it is what it is. You know, that's going to happen sometimes. But yeah, worse trade, worse, bleh, worse entry on this, but not too bad. But yeah, in drawdown currently. Um, odd CAD, I think we're in drawdown on this. Yeah, we're in drawdown on this one as well. And NZD CAD, I hit stop loss. So I hit stop loss today on that. So yeah, it is what it is, guys. Um, that's up updating the positions for you guys. So in total, I am essentially at break even. I'm only like, no, I'm at more than break even. I'm at like up half a percent or 0.7% for the day, right? Nothing crazy between like the close trade, the winning trade, the close winning trade, the close losing trade, which is NDT CAD. And then also just the um, uh, the drawdown and the relative profit I'm in, I'm probably up half a percent, 0.7%, something along those lines, All right? So nothing crazy. Anyways, so now uh, let's get into it. Uh, the other trade positions that I am looking at, All right? So this candle is gonna close within two hours. And then the, so, you know, that's gonna be a buy position I'm looking at. It's setting up perfectly. Yeah, it's looking great. So I'll probably take a buy position on this one. Let's see, on this trade, nothing yet. On this trade, nothing yet. Oh yeah, Euro GPY. I think that was it. Yeah, Euro GPY I actually missed this, missed this trade, unfortunately. I was up at 5 a.m. because I read Fajr prayer. Fajr is the morning player for most of the case you guys didn't know. But um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh yeah, yeah, here's what ended up happening. What ended up happening was is that um, I woke up at 5.20. I was supposed to wake up at 4.50. So I woke up 30 minutes late and price had already reached like up here. And so I was like, okay, I'll set a limit order. But then what ends up happening is price just shot up. And unfortunately, it didn't trick, uh, trigger me in. So by this point in time, I would have moved my stop loss to break even. So I'm actually not in this trade. Uh, because unfortunately, price just left without me. So yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, Let's see, for this trade, I already took trade profit. Let's talk about these trades. Again, as you're looking for, and again, as you guys can see, one of the benefits of this strategy is the fact that um there are so many opportunities. This trade, I would be at break even and I didn't even take this. Um. Oh, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. The, the one of the benefits of the strategy is that you're only on the charts like six times, right? The, you're on the four hour time frame, right, guys? So the candles are closing every six hours, right? Think uh, every four hours. Think about that. So 24 hours divided by four, six. There's six candles per day, which means that you only have to be on the charts, guys, six times a day. That's it. Six times a day. And it takes you five minutes, literally less than five minutes to scroll through all those things, all to all 28 pairs, right? I'm trading 28 pairs plus code. So 29, right? And this is all I do. 
I have everything set up and all I have to do, oh yeah, this was another thing. Unfortunately, guys, um, USDCHF, right? This is a trade that I would have took on Thursday. By the time I woke up, unfortunately, um, well, by the time I decided to take trades, uh, unfortunately, uh, the price had already gone in favor. And so I set a limit order, but price already reached a break even for me. So unfortunately, I couldn't get in the limit order. And actually, right now, the price would have actually hit take profit. Not right now, but at this candle price would have hit take profit. So yeah, another trade, unfortunately, that I didn't take that was a winner. Um, But yeah, this is all it is, guys. Right? So it's literally just scrolling through pairs. Does this match the criteria? No. Does this match the criteria? No. Just, just doing this. It literally takes less than five minutes for me to shift through all 29 pairs and figure out which pairs I'm looking to take a trade on and which pairs I'm not looking to take a trade on. And, you know, you might think that you could be over trading because you're taking, you're trying to take pairs on trades on 29 pairs. But in reality, you're on the four hour time frame. So you're not getting trades every single day, right? Or, and you're not going to take like 29 trades every single day. But yeah, as you guys can see, um, so far, aside from gold, there's only one trade that I would be, aside from Oh yeah, aside from gold, the positions I'm already in, all the positions that I'm going to continue, I'm not going to close them out. I'm going to hold them and we're just going to see what happens and I'm going to update you guys as time goes on. But yeah, this is installment one of the swing trading series. So yeah, I'm probably going to update you guys every week. I don't think I should make a video every single day or like three three times a day, uh, three times a week, sorry guys. Um, Yeah, this will probably just be one of the videos that I make a part of my series. But yeah, without further ado guys, uh, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel and peace out.